Your Feel Good Breakfast Show, indeed. Thanks for tuning back in. Now, it is a brand new year, and over and above those positive New Year's resolutions, we've been urging you to try something you really push your boundaries. If you're looking for a little bit of inspiration to know what we are talking about, why not join Ruwaida Mohammed, who decided to literally push the boat out and do something that she had never attempted before, a little bit of deep sea diving. Let's go along for the adventure. For Ruwaida Mohammed, adventure is all about waking up in the early hours of the morning to climb aboard a deep sea fishing boat and attempting to hook the catch of a lifetime. I chose deep sea fishing because it's something that I've never done before and it seems like a lot of fun. And from the time I was a little girl, I used to accompany my dad and my brother on the fishing trips and uh, I seemed to enjoy them, so I wanted to do deep sea fishing. With his many years of fishing experience, Mike Laubscher, the owner of Blue Water Charters, knows all the hot spots of deep sea fishing and gave a way to her lesson on working with the heavy duty tackle. Oh, well, she's very eager. I think uh, when we went through the instructions of how to fight the fish, I think she was a little bit overwhelmed. But uh, I'm sure she'll do fine and we will help her all the way. Physical strength does count to a lot. And sometimes the smaller ladies don't have it. Some of them surprise you though, eh? Dynamite comes in small packages. And at the moment now we're busy looking for the warm current and then we will drop the lines and uh, see what we can get. The KZN coast has rich warm waters teeming with sea life and fish from the south coast past Durban and up the north coast to Cozy Bay. So everyone was holding their thumbs for a bite. I didn't have any high expectations. I just wanted to catch anything. Uh, any catch would, would do. At first I was in shock and I just kept focused and I wanted to bring the fish, the fish in as quick as possible. It was amazing, it was tough, and I'm, I can't believe that I've actually done it, but I'm proud of myself. The set of fish we, we hooked up was Wahoo. We initially hooked up five of them. Um, two of them bit the lures off. Wahoo have incredibly sharp teeth, but we managed to land three nice fish. And then the last fish we caught uh, was a skipjack tuna. I think she did all right, I mean, for a first-timer. Um, I mean, put her on the boat three or four more trips and she'll be a pro. Proving that anything is possible, Petite Rueda held her own against fighting fish and impressed a salty fisherman. You need to be physically strong, confident, and you never have to give up. You have to keep going. I was glad that Mike was there to give me the instructions because without his instructions and advice, uh, I wouldn't have been able to accomplish my task. Like the seat had its highs and its lows, but the highs out outweighed the lows, and I had a great time. The highs included being out at sea, uh, getting to see the whales, and experiencing deep sea fishing for the first time, and catching the fish, of course, and the lows, the seasickness. <laughs> I would love to do deep sea fishing again, but not in the near future because I'm still getting to grips with the seasickness. <laughs> Rueda conquered the coast and stepped off the boat with a new sense of confidence and, of course, some fresh fish for dinner.